I'd like to share with you guys a, a rookie mistake that I made yesterday. I'm not too proud to admit that I do make rookie mistakes still, but um, I was flying my uh, Argycopter. That's a quad, and it's probably about 30 feet in the air, and if you notice, underneath they have this, as a lot of quads do, different mounting um, straps for your battery. And this is just a single strap mount uh, that came with the uh, RG Copter setup. And I was flying in a, in a good bit of wind. Uh, this is actually running the 2.9 firmware uh, for RG Copter and it was, it's, it's been great. The stabilization is, is solid, but you know, it's constantly, you're trying to keep it stable and, and uh, it was fighting the wind. And so it, as you can tell, this the strap isn't as tight as you'd like it to be, and so about 30 feet in the air, the battery came loose, and I just saw it fall to the ground. And then shortly thereafter, the quad came down. It actually came down straight on this leg from about 30 feet, and as you can see, you know I got a good good amount of dirt dug into this into this arm, probably an inch deep. And as part of that, you can see my motor. Just on this end, it ripped the uh, one of the motor screws out and tore out, basically bent this this end of the arm. So the good news is, I had ordered an extra motor when I purchased the kit, but it also comes with five arms. So I have this extra black arm that I'll remount. I guess they took into consideration you'd make an idiot move like I did. But I'll be mounting that and getting that up and running. But I just wanted to share that uh, with you guys because I know a lot of guys that fly with single straps uh, with their setups. And, you know, I don't recommend that at all. You know, either double strap it or get one where you can strap it lengthwise so you kind of have it crossed in there and, and you know, it really prevents any sort of a uh, slippage when you're doing acrobatic maneuvers or just you know your quads battling wind. My TBS Discovery actually has a dual strap setup so that's just a quick tip for you guys who uh, may be flying with one strap you know this hopefully will save you a little bit of uh, frustration and, and money the next time you're out flying in windy conditions.